Good morning, dear students. We are back with social science, and before our unit tests, we started unit three, ancient towns and scriptures. Let's continue with it. Now, before moving forward, let's do a quick recap of what we studied about Harappan civilization or the Indus Valley civilization. <coughs> Remains of the Harappan civilization were first discovered from Harappa in 1921. Harappa is presently situated in Pakistan. Then we studied about certain places of the Harappan civilization. Before that, what was the common feature in all these places? It was the town planning. The most important feature of Harappan civilization was its organized town planning. All the towns were planned in similar way. In all places, fort were on the west and colony of common people was on the east. A highway separated these two parts of the city. Then, bricks were often used in the town structures. The main feature of Harappan civilization was their organized house arrangement. The houses were constructed on high platforms and the houses were mostly of single story or double storied. And there were two houses in the city, one which connected north with south and the other from east to west. The streets were parallel to the main road and all the roads intersected each other at a right angle. Hence, the city can be divided into squares or rectangles. Then another important feature was there was a highly developed and systematic system for disposal of water in Harappan civilization. Then we studied about particular regions. Let's start with Mohenjo-daro. A public bath was found in Mohenjo-daro and in addition to this there were pillared houses used as assembly halls in Mohenjo-daro. In Harappa which is currently in Pakistan, uh, the main feature of Harappa is its granary. About 12 grain stores have been found on the bank of river Ravi. Then we studied about Lothal, which is situated in Dhorka Taluka in Ahmedabad district of Gujarat. It was a commercial port and an industrial town in ancient times. Um, there was a dockyard in Lothal, so it was used for um, loading and unloading of goods, which arrived through ships. After that, we studied about Dholavira. It is situated in Bachao Taluka in Kutch district of Gujarat. Generally, the Harappan towns are divided into two parts, but Dholavira is divided into three parts. First part consisted of citadel, fort, second upper town and third lower town. Then the last city we studied was of Kalibangan which was considered the headquarter of agricultural revolution. The copper residue found proved that the copper tools must have been manufactured here and these tools might have been used in agriculture. Af now let's move ahead with the Harappan civilization, the lifestyle during the Harappan civilization. The economic life in Harappan civilization. Economic life means financial life, how they earned or what did they do for their living. So people of Indus Valley civilization were very engaged in various economic activities like agriculture, livestock rearing, trade, silk industry. We know about agriculture, livestock rearing, cattle rearing or such. Trade is it's the business and silk industry. Silk, the manufacturing of silk and then trading of it. Crops in agriculture, they produced crops like wheat, barley, peas, sesame, mustard, etc. We know wheat and barley, they are like Ghau and Jav. Peas, you know the green peas. Sesam are the tal that we usually have and mustard is rai. They used 
plows to plow the land plow is an agricultural tool to plow the land that also you have studied they reared animals like cows buffaloes goats and bullocks what kind of animals they reared what kind of animals they took care of and they made that their size um, the number is increased they reared animals like cows buffaloes goats and bullocks these were the animals from which they get milk and other products they were engaged in internal as well as international trade internal trade is the local trade between two traders or two people or even what we get from i mean the retail and the international trade trade with other parts historians believe that cotton cloth produced here used to reach mesopotamia and egypt via mesopotamia uh, mesopotamia is i mean even that's an ancient town but uh, if you say from current day it can be said that uh, today's iraq iran syria and turkey so that part from the cotton cloth that was produced in the indus valley civilization it was traded to mesopotamia and from mesopotamia it was even reached egypt in addition of this people living here were also involved in professions like pottery pottery is related to clay so pottery metal work bead making sculpture etc these were the professions so all these activities were carried out during the harappan civilization people earned their living doing these activities now after the economic life let's study about the social life of harappan civilization social life mostly consists of the food the clothing or what kind of utensils or ornaments they wore and the toys that were found now let's read about food the main occupation of the people of indus valley were agriculture and livestock rearing people of this time used to have wheat barley millet peas sesame date palms etc in their diet now their main occupation was agriculture and cattle rearing so from agriculture they got all these food like wheat barley millet uh millet is sorghum so peas sesame date palms etc in the diet that was their main food due to pastoralism that is cattle rearing the diet consisted of milk and milk products also milk and milk products you know which are the milk products the ghee chash or i mean buttermilk so all these things were also consist were part of their diet and a fishing hook has been found in the remnants of the civilization remnants the remaining parts of the civilization a fishing hook was also found so their food must have included fish also let's study about clothes now we get information regarding attire of the people of that time on the basis of sculptures found from indus valley civilization certain sculptures have been found from that civilization so that sculpture depending on whose sculpture it was made we can get the idea of what kind of clothes they used to wear men and women here wore two clothes i mean the upper cloth and the lower cloth they wore clothes similar to dhoti on their waist and in the upper part they wrapped a short cloth which came down from the shoulder here there is a picture of that sculpture found from the harappan civilization and from that we can make the idea like uh, the lower part on the lo around their waist they tied a cloth like dhoti and for the upper part they used to wrap a short cloth which was made of cotton and it came down from shoulder they mainly used cotton cloths cotton they used to grow and they used to make cotton clothes they were also familiar with woolen clothes 
sometimes even woolen clothes were found because as the needles made of metal and ivory have been found we can assume that they were stitched clothes now if there is clothes you can also wrap around and carry but there were needles also found so the purpose of needle is stitching clothes so as needles made of metal and ivory have found we can also assume that they were stitched clothes although most of the people wore unstitched clothes so the stitched clothes may have been a luxury for the upper class of during that time and most of the people the common people mostly wore unstitched clothes ornaments people of this time wore ornaments like necklace ring and finger hand bracelets were worn by women as well as men not only women as seen today but men and women both wore ornaments the common one like necklace ring and finger hand bracelets women wore jewelry like bangles earrings waist belt anklets etc here i have given you the picture from harappa.com i mean all the information about the harappan civilization can be found there so these were the actual ornaments from that time waist belt anklets bangles and earrings were worn by women and these ornaments were made of gold silver and precious stones now before moving forward let's do a quick recap of what we studied about harappan civilization or the indus valley civilization remains of the harappan civilization were first discovered from harappa in 1921 harappa is presently situated in pakistan then we studied about certain places of the harappan civilization before that what was the common feature in all these places it was the town planning the most important feature of harappan civilization was its organized town planning all the towns were planned in similar way in all places fort were on the west and colony of common people was on the east a highway separated these two part of the city then bricks were often used in the town structures the main feature of harappan civilization was their organized house arrangement the houses were constructed on high platforms and the houses were mostly of single story or double storied and there were two houses in the city one which connected north with south and the other from east to west the streets were parallel to the main road and all the roads intersected each other at a right angle hence the city can be divided into squares or rectangles then another important feature was there was a highly developed and systematic system for disposal of water in harappan civilization then we studied about particular regions let's start with mohenjo daro a public bath was found in mohenjo daro and in addition to this there were pillared houses used as assembly halls in mohenjo daro in harappa which is currently in pakistan uh, the main feature of harappa is its granary about 12 grain stores have been found on the bank of river ravi then we started about lothal which is after economic and social life let's read about the religious life and funerals we get information regarding the religious life of harappan civilization from the idols and postures among the idols excavated the idol of matrika devi has been found historians consider it the symbol of mother earth it means people of harappan civilization must have been worshiping mother earth especially as it gives grain and water besides this they might have been worshiping trees animals nag devta swastik etc remains of worshiping fire have been found from lothal and kalibangan now here this was excavated from one of the sites and it is shown like 
they were worshiping mother earth matrika devi mother earth because we get grains and water grains are a basic food so mother earth used to give us a uh, give still give us our basic necessities so people used to worship matrika devi and besides there were also some scriptures idols and postures which show that they also worship trees animals nag devta swastik and remains of worshiping fire so ashes or some kind of remains were also found where they worship fire and they were found from lothal and kalibangan lothal from gujarat and kalibangan from rajasthan now funeral people of harappan civilization might have been burning dead people they might burn dead people as it's um uh, it is done by hindus nowadays also evidences of agni sanskar have been found at many places some evidences were also found like after um uh, a person dies their agni sanskar was done they buried dead person and also kept some of the things with the dead body when a person died along with funeral there were also i mean along with uh, burning dead people another practice was of burying them burying them so they buried dead people and all they also kept some things with them so these things may be what they liked or what they may need so it tells us that they about their imagination that there is life after death even when the person dies certain things were kept with him so he may it may be easier for him in his life after death script and language language is the language we speak so the language spoke during the harappan civilization and the script how to write that or how we read what is written so the script and language of the harappan civilization coins seals copper plates have been found from remains of harappan civilization we know the coins the currency then seals seals are a device that makes a raised impression or that embosses um, an impression on paper or on depresses on a wax so those were kind of seals which are used by government authorized nowadays but during that time they might be used by the kings or so so those seals and copper plates have been found from the remains of harappan civilization over which some text is transcribed which is written in some unresolved mysterious language now the language is there on those things but we do not know so it is mysterious for it's not yet resolved so we don't understand what is written on them although these writings are short words with matras and joined words are found you are studying hindi and gujarati so you know what is matra and joined words are found but still even after lots of attempts this script has not been deciphered we have not uh understood this language and that script is yet to be solved it's still mysterious and we do not know what the people during that time knew or what they wanted to transfer what kind of knowledge they had and what were the orders or what were the thinking of the people during that time places of harappan civilization in gujarat small and big colonies of harappan civilization have been found in gujarat like rangpur and lothal in amdavad district rojri or shrinathgarh in rajkot district desalpur in kutch district dholavira surkotra lakhbawal in jamnagar district amra bhaktalav on the bank of kim river in bharosh district these are the places of harappan civilization in gujarat now how did the harappan civilization end the historians believe that harappan civilization may have ended because of earthquake flood 
epidemic or external invasion. So how did the Harappan civilization end? Historians think it may be because of earthquake or flood. Epidemic, epidemic means um, like nowadays a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at in a short period of time like majority of the population are dying because of the rapid spread of disease so maybe due to epidemic or external invasion external invasion like a king or ruler from other civilization may have invaded may have uh, fought a war against them and the Harpan civilization may have ended. However, for today's historians, the end of it has been the subject of research because there is no surety of how the Harappan civilization ended. So it's still a subject of research. That's all for today. We'll be studying about ancient texts in the next class. What we what I taught you till now, you have to read it again in your textbook, okay? There's no other homework for today. That's it. Bye.